uh, up here on the top right hand corner or top ish right ish side of the map we have our green protoss player it is inked warrior indeed his opponent spawning in the bottom right five o'clock position on catalina it is our orange terran baby puncher representing chobo team six like she's just opening with uh two barracks reaper so far uh in base so nothing proxied and and nothing being proxied is actually something of note when you're watching yeah. baby puncher and vespasian play indeed that is true i mean there's the semi-hidden barracks up there but it's not really hidden it's not like super oh. proxied or anything uh reaper is coming out um, now, what's really interesting is what Inked Warrior is doing, which is that he's built the gateway on the low ground at the natural. Um, and it looks like he, like it's essentially as if he's doing a gateway expand here, but it's against the Terran player. So as this is <laughs> this is going to be interesting. As yeah, this is going to be a really tough hole for Inked Warrior. Uh, with his gateway being so far away from his probes, he can't really like pull a bunch of probes to threaten the reapers for a second like he's gonna have a really hard time dealing with this especially since there's already one reaper on the way as it picks off that scouting probe uh and it's gonna be poking away here the scv is gonna join it uh and it's gonna be able to get quite a bit done before a zealot's even out yeah and uh zealot obviously not the optimal solution to a reaper in the first oh. place and a bunker is gonna go down really close to that nexus um, probably does need to prioritize taking that out, but there's no real response to this uh, just yet. The Mothership Corps is on its way out, but I think the Zealot needs to actually go after the STV, and now it is. Yeah, he's got that going down now, but that uh, Ink Baby Puncher could actually just bring more STVs and get that, but she just decides to cancel. Now that the Mothership Corps is coming out with a Stalker being Chrono Boosted, yeah. Ink Warrior is in a much better position to start holding this off. Baby Puncher added on two more reactors and now is making four yeah. Reapers at a time. And she's going to keep that first one alive. Uh, she could very easily come in here and just overwhelm what uh, Ink Warrior has. Yeah, Ink has to uh, kind of realize that and keep making youth players could see as you get to this point. This one, obviously, it hides it from them. Uh, so that's the way it is. And yeah, it starts right here in a pause state. Uh, I forget if they can see me. I assume they can. And then we'll... And it gives this countdown to get them ready. So it basically lets them see their map, lets them see their interface again, lets them see, like, basically reacquaint themselves with what they were doing right at the moment, and then uh, gives them time to start. So two Reapers coming in here. Uh, we'll get fended off, but neither of them... Uh, being killed or anything. No hull damage on the uh, Stalker yet either. But there are five Reapers out in the map uh, now. Six now as one pops out of the barracks. And there's four on the way at any one time. They come in, they're going to yeah. snipe that Zelda in the high ground. And the Mothership Corps is out of position. It doesn't have the energy yet. It's at uh, 92 currently, so it's going to have a foot in overcharge by the time it gets over here. Meanwhile, yeah. a lot of probes going down. Indeed. If he can get, let it get fairly deep. Oh, the yeah, Stalker's going to go down. Stalk away. He's got a... Okay. Well, we'll see. Probably the foot turnover charge has to happen. Usually when that does happen, like I've been in that position before, you kind of want to be able to foot down overcharge when they're like deep in your base, so they at least one or two die. And Ink Warrior actually got out a sentry on his uh, high ground uh, warp gate or gateway, and I don't know if I like that decision. That sentry's not going to really do anything against these Reapers. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, uh, maybe you get to force gate. field them like in between the ramp and the wall or something like that in a place they can't cliff jump, but with six Reapers over here right now and two more joining the party here. Yeah, it's going to be so easy to snipe down, and uh, one of the gateways obviously out of commission now as the uh, power is lost there. A probe is going to come down and try and reestablish that, but it's going to remain fairly vulnerable. Those pylons are going to get sniped before they do anything, though. Yeah. Oh, man, yeah, two shots and the Reapers cancel. take them down. Three on the third, second one. This yeah, is not looking good for Ink this Warrior. This is so many for uh, for Baby Puncher. And there's been just absolutely no thinning of this whatsoever. Uh, usually you get like one or two at this point in the game, but every single one of these has just been kept alive. And uh, now that the Photon Overcharge is done, uh, it's hard to see what's going to end up stopping this many. 
Like this, this will now win a direct engagement. Oh yeah. So it doesn't really matter. And Baby Puncher's up to 17 SCVs now to five probes. A little surprised Baby Puncher didn't stop to snipe the one um, stalker there, but wants to keep the the herd alive, I guess. And yeah, yeah, I think Warrior decides to tap out. That yeah. situation was not going to get any better for him, certainly. In game number two, and we'll get right to the intros because something's happening already. Over on the left-hand side, we have our blue Protoss player looking to bring this back. It is Inked Warrior. And his opponent, uh, <laughs> unaware of what's happening in her natural base, is the Orange Terran Baby Puncher up 1-0. But uh, with that gateway dropping down now at 8 supply, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll see where she lands at the end of this game. Uh, this is... I know I... I made the confident call that it was going to be on Inked Warrior to defend this game. Mm -hmm. That may not have been the most accurate statement, which, after watching Baby Puncher and Vespasian play a decent amount, I thought for sure was a safe bet. Yeah, I would have thought so too. And Baby Puncher actually, like, checked the normal cannon rush position just above her base, but doesn't see... Uh, this, but there is an SCV in now who is going to be looking at this and saying, why are there seven probes uh, here? Yeah, the Ink Warrior got his gateways at 8 supply, rather than yeah. like a, a 10 gate proxy. Yeah. So the Zelt's going to be decently fast, but the problem is that Baby Puncher always opens with a fast barracks. This yeah. isn't a, like a Marine King, where it's either like 3cc or like proxy 2 racks. Like Baby Puncher is just always one racks really fast, uh, at, at least. So yeah. she's walling off her natural or her main ramp, but obviously we know that's not exactly where the the zealots are going to be coming from. Yeah, exactly. There's a bunker going up there, so there'll be a fallback position, but it doesn't cover the mineral line. It doesn't cover anything else. Um, you can always do, of course, the CC lifts off, uh, so you can always reestablish outside the base and use that bunker to keep the zealots in yeah, which zealots is coming in interesting now. yeah uh, we'll go after the SCVs that are immediately pulled they're going to run back to this bunker where they have some safety yeah once baby puncher's orbital lifts up I mean I would just love to see her like lift this off and flood yeah. in gold or something yeah, she's just gonna take go the anywhere. engagement. Yeah, this is interesting to actually throw the SCVs at this, um, because yeah, it is an option to just oh, leave. No. And there's only a few workers left here. Two, one. I'm not sure why. I mean, I guess yeah. that's a hold, but there's literally that mule <laughs> is what's left, and that's that it. No, it. G no GG or anything. And here we are on overgrowth for game number three of this matchup. Uh, we have in the top right-hand corner, uh, Cheese win in game number one, Cheese loss in game number two. It is from Chobo Team 6, Baby Puncher. Baby Puncher with a nice thorough scout of her natural and main. Yeah. Seeing what her opponent in the bottom left is up to. We see in the bottom left he's not up to anything too cheeky here. It's our orange Protoss, Inked Warrior, with the mirrored cheese loss and cheese win in game one and two of the series. But he, he does take that fast second gas. Uh, I'm interested to see if he's going to go for like fast DTs here. Yeah, there's the two, uh, two uh, probes in one of the gases, two in the other. Yeah, there's this can end up going a lot of ways. Um, it's kind of one of the most versatile gassing strategies, essentially. Uh, could be Stargate, could just be straight up normal robo type play. Um, a lot yeah, of ways. The, the two by two is not quite as uh, gas intensive as you would do for like right. a DT full on yeah. rush, I guess. But, yeah, uh, never, not a full on rush, just a, but you could still get there in a reasonable time. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it just gives you an awful lot of options. The Zealot is out, it is allowed to complete. Uh, and is chasing this SCV around. Uh, often a Protoss will, of course, get that just to make sure their expansion's not blocked, but then cancel. But uh, given how 
cheesy things can be. It does let that finish mm -hmm. for, prob for probably obvious reasons. And uh, getting the stalker up. Uh, right yeah, Victoria, you're saving up his money a little bit. Uh, yeah. Maybe planning on taking that fast nexus. But uh, yeah. Baby Puncher, not sure exactly what her plan is yet. Um, she's got the the factory and uh, starport just now started. The factory's pumping out widow mines. So yeah. probably just going to be a one 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 attack would be my bet based on what I know of her repertoire. Um, we'll see here. Yeah, either straightforward or a drop. It lines up for. Uh, yeah, you could do some sort of like two widow mine drop, but the uh, widow mine is just running on out. Nope, now it changes his mind. It's coming back in. Uh, this is interesting. Ink Warrior, of course. Okay, there we go. He's putting down the Twilight Council up on the top left hand side. He's going to be. That's the one route that doesn't give detection, though. So uh, this could be interesting. Yeah, okay, you're just going to go for a four gate so. blink, maybe? Looks like he's yeah. planning on throwing down three more gateways up here in the top right. I think that may be the case. And yeah, uh, he cancels one of those gates. Hmm. Okay, yeah, Baby Puncher. Going for the medevac first, so it's going to be she's going to drop in her marines and widow mines. Yeah, and like you said, this is the the only detectionless tech path to yeah. open a Protoss nowadays. And uh, warp gate's going to be done, so he should have units to to fight this. Whether or not he just loses them too easily to a widow mine, we'll see. Hmm. This whole thing is fairly interesting so far. So there's just a oh fast Templar yeah. archives. Hmm. That is. I don't even know if that's really a thing, but I like it. Like yeah, a one, think, ba one base Templar archives. <laughs> I think I actually it's saw Ink Warrior do this last season a little bit. Um, we'll it see. As Baby Puncher dropped in, she's going to see this. Yeah. Needs the... Oh, actually, drop the Widow Mine first, which is interesting. Will fire off. Gets the one unit. Uh, taking out the shields on the Mothership Core, but now it's kind of stuck there. Yeah, but... Not sure. Yeah, uh, Inktor yeah, is going to put on the Robo. Yeah, and his Templar yeah, archives is done. Detection. Yeah, and of course that's been spotted. Ravens coming out on the other side, which is interesting too. Um, Stalker moving into position, I think, to intercept this Widow Mine if it tries to run uh, for the uh, Mineral Line, which is good. Uh, but some Bio Forces coming in the front door, but there's only like five Marines. Yeah, this, I think. Uh, Baby Punch is just going to attack, attack, attack until she wins or loses this game. It's going to be all pressure from her. As the Photon Overcharge goes down in the natural, it's going to push away these couple of Marines. Yeah, I one of them up. Yeah, yeah, just the one, though. Uh, doesn't want to allow the rest in into the ship. So mean. Uh, that robo is done here now. Yeah, oh, this presumably. is actually really nice for Baby Puncher. Uh, Zinctory is probably going to get an uh, observer out of that first. Yeah. And prioritize that because of the Widow Mine. But uh, yeah. he's going to have to be dealing with two tanks on his front door here shortly, and he really would like to have an immortal. Uh, but he's throwing down two more a gateway and a forge uh, and not using the robo for anything yet, actually. There's the observer just started just now as this force is moving into his front door. This is not good for Inked Warrior right now. The good thing, I guess, is that Baby Puncher can, or uh, Inked Warrior can just sack the natural. It's not, like, there's no two base for um, for Baby. Widow Mine actually barrows in the main and gets two uh, probes. Two. But now there's two tanks sieged up here, and the Raven's going to uh, be able to point the fence drone. Okay, and now he's going to be distracted from the two Widow Mines that are almost dead. Photon Overcharge is going off, needs to pull back the Mothership Core, and does. Uh, Stalker could die there. Now these Widow Mines could reset. No. Get the second one before it resets. But obviously oh no. distracted. Or we're even going down, but now the Mothership Core itself will fall. Kind of wandering into, uh, in a little too far there. Probe actually dodges the, the Widow Mine reload in the main. It shot right as Banshee. it went into the Vespian Geyser. Yeah. Oh, good. Uh, Banshee, Banshee going, down. going down there. And uh, given that there's like extra probes from this base, this is actually fine. Um, but to have lost like a couple things to the widow mine, like it's it's all right if he brings it up. But can't fight down here at all. I don't know why. Ink Warrior just let yeah. Storm finish. Uh, he has Storm now, but no Templar. <laughs> this is so bizarre. 
Yeah. He's only got uh, three workers on gas now, since that little mine just reloaded again and finally took out the, the probe on mining gas. Yeah, he yeah, was in trouble. Let, yeah, he's, he's probably dead now. He had about five stalkers and just kind of let them die on the low ground. There was never really any reason to defend the low ground. No. Uh, so, which is un unfortunate. Yeah, I think he had. <laughs>